Well, hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm so excited because I am hosting the Purge and Declutter Challenge for 2020, the fall, winter edition. I usually do this twice a year. I'm being nosy like that, y'all. I want to see what you are getting rid of, those that are participating, out of your home. Details were simple. Just share what you are purging and tell whether or not you are giving it to a family or a friend, whether you are donating it, or whether you are trashing it. It might not be of use to anyone. Like I said, I'm being nosy. I want to know. <laughs> but before I share with you the things that I am getting rid of, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to double click that bell so you will be notified of all the videos that I upload. I can be followed on other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, TikTok, and I have an Amazon store where you can shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week for some beautiful home decor, home essentials, personal items, and so much more. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. And if you are a faithful and returning family member, you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so much, and I am so blessed that you are a part of this family here. So guys, let me stop talking and let me share with you what I am purging from my home. Stay tuned. <laughs> now guys, with this pandemic going on, I've been getting rid of a lot of things and I still have a lot to do. But these things that I'm gonna share with you, um, I'm trying to make room for my grandson so because uh, he's here in my home and I, he's at the walking stage now. So I'm trying to loosen up my house a bit. Now this, pro this <laughs> product, this uh, piece right here, it's on the question, okay? It's questionable. I was ready to let it go, and hubby was like, are you getting rid of that? So we'll see, but let me share with you this one. And it is a tray, all right? This tray I picked up from Home Goods a couple of years ago. And yes, I could easily uh, put it in a closet because it does fold. But um, I'm just trying to loosen up some things. And this is one of them. Now I'm gonna move you throughout my home and share with you a couple of pieces and we'll go from there. So, stay tuned. So next I'm sharing with you a light fixture that I purchased from my neighbor next door when we had a community yard sale for $10, guys. I have been looking for this light fixture and found it at Lowe's <laughs> and I think it ran like $149, $169, kind of for $10. Well, when I told my brother that we were going to redo the stair case, um, I didn't even mention that I was getting rid of this light and he claimed it. So this one is going to my brother and it will look beautiful in his home. Now I'm also getting rid of some pictures. Um, this movie picture here that I had in my family room, I took, all, I took down all of my movie pictures. I kept some of them and this is the one that I'm getting rid of. Probably could do something with this frame, but I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm letting it go. Now when I purchased this picture about a year ago, 
I purchased it because it was so blingy. <laughs> I loved all the bling on it. But when I brought it home and hung it up for a while, it just did not appeal to me anymore. So I am putting this one up for sale. Now sometimes I decorate for events and I purchased this acrylic box and I do not like it. I don't like to see things visible. Um, so, and this one cost about 30 or 40 bucks. And I added the bling to it and put some totally dazzled bling on it and I still do not like it. So if I do other events and I'm not sure of that, um, I will go out and purchase a solid box and go from there. But I am donating this acrylic gift box. Now the next piece was a curbside find. <laughs> I uh, was, well, I saw it on a pile next door, my next door neighbor. And I'm like, OMG, they are really getting rid of this? Um, I think I'm gonna try it in my laundry room. Well, it did not work in my, my laundry closet. It was too big. But it was so nice that I just could not throw it back on the curbside. Uh, I found a home for this piece. Uh, a friend of my uh, son was having a little girl. So this is perfect for a little girl's room. I uh, needed a little work, a little paint, that's it. The mechanics and everything was worked perfectly. Uh, I just thought this piece was too, too pretty to be on a curb side. I really wish it would have worked in my laundry room though. <laughs> it was so, so pretty. But uh, it's right where it's supposed to be. And I was able to bless someone with this beautiful, beautiful furniture piece. I also have these pictures here that I've had for a couple of years. You can see I didn't even use that one. And this one as well. So I'm going to let go of these gonna donate these so the next piece is a cake dome um, nothing is wrong with it but if you've been following me you know that my sister in love gifted me a beautiful cake dome looks crystal so I don't need two. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to donate this one. I, I've had this one for many, many years to be exact. Uh, this is probably 15 years old. All right. 15 years old. It may be older. So, um, yeah. Uh, out with the old and in with the new. Uh, the next piece I'm going to show you, same thing apply. When I'm bringing something in, something must go because I can't hold on to everything. All right, so stay tuned for the next piece. Now I have some dispensers here. Um, in a recent haul, massive haul that I did, I hauled two new ones and they were very cheap. And they're a little bit larger than these. So that's why I'm replacing these. Nothing wrong with these either. They're just a little bit larger. So again, when I'm bringing something in, something must go, all right? I do not bring things in without rotating something out. So are you guilty of buying things from Dollar Tree, thinking you're gonna use them at some point, but you don't? <laughs> I found this bag in my pantry because I'm in the process of purging it as well. And I've used some of these. I've I had some and used them. But these babies really don't last at all. They break very easily. So I'm getting rid of the remainder I have. Um, 
these tongs here. I'm going to start using my real stuff. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm getting rid of those. And I have these, and I'm thinking about pulling these out and putting it in my craft box. So, yeah, sometimes when you go through things, you come across items, and you have it in a question mark box, right? So I think I am gonna hold on to these. These are the acrylic gems. Because if I do a DIY, these will come in to good use. Especially uh, Christmas is coming up. So I have three bags of these. More purging of my pantry. I keep chargers and placemats in my pantry. Um, and I'm not gonna go through all of these, but y'all see this box here. And I'm probably gonna get rid of more, but this is what I started with, all right? Placemats. I have stacks and stacks of placemats. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a few. And uh, once I go through this, and then maybe uh, next year, I'll purge some more. See what I use and what I don't use. But yeah, this is the start of the placemats. So like I said before, I am in the process of uh, letting go of some things in my pantry. I'm reworking it in the process of reworking it. And um, what I have in there so far will not allow me to put my, uh, I've had this as a menu board. So I'm going to get rid of it. I will be donating. Everything you see, with the exception of a few pieces, will be donated. Or by the time you see this video, they will be gone and out my home. But this is a really, really nice board. I hate to part with it, but I have nowhere to put it. So during this quarantine and during this pandemic, have you been purging some things out your home? Have you, have you been getting rid of a lot of things? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'm being nosy. I just want to know. <laughs> Please take a look at the playlist that will be listed in my description box down below of some talented creators that are participating in this collaboration. You'll get a peek at what they're getting rid of as well. Um, you will enjoy, I'm sure you will enjoy what you see. Again, the playlist will be listed in my description box down below. Well, thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Have a blessed and beautiful day and be safe. I'll talk to you real soon.